Hey guys, Rob here. Uh, when I moved into this smaller home, uh, I found that my John Deere Zero Turn was way too big for this uh, very small yard. Uh, so I sold my uh, John Deere, sold the trailer with it, and uh, I still needed some way to pull things from the front to the back, you know, like when I'm working in the yard, doing something with plants, uh, carrying rocks to the back, whatever. Uh, so I bought a uh, gorilla cart. Uh, this is the seven cubic foot poly dump cart. And uh, I'm going to put it together here and uh, give you a view of it. Okay. Got her pulled out of the box. Uh, took the straps off. Everything is fairly well neatly contained within the bed of the little dump cart. Looks like all the parts are here. Oh boy, okay. Box of parts. Yay, instructions. I don't need no stinking instructions. Yeah, maybe I do. All right, looks simple enough. Hard to do this with one hand, sorry guys. It has a list of hardware. Should be pretty easy to put together. I'm not going to bore you with all the details because there's plenty of uh, unboxing and build videos out on YouTube already. It's going to pull all the stuff out. And uh, but yeah, it looks like these are all the parts in here. And they're all laid out on a nice little card. Ah, yeah, this is the handle and the. Uh, the handle and the various bolts. Yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. All right, let me get some wrenches, pull this stuff out, and see if I can get it all put together. Okay, me again. I've got her all unpacked here. Not a whole lot of stuff to put together, so that's good. Got the tires out. They seem to already have a little bit of air in them. I'm going to pump those up before I install them. It'll make it a little easier. One thing nice about this cart is the wheels have actual bearings in them. I understand they're not great bearings. They're not uh, sealed, but uh, at least it just doesn't uh, ride on a uh, ride on the axle. A couple of little things right down in here on almost every one of them. I see a little bit of surface rust. Nothing nothing really bad. Uh, just a little bit of stuff starting. So I'm gonna give her a squirt with some good old WD, prevent any further problems. Everything else looks fine. I did find a nice sharp edge. A little bit of the metal sticking out on the frame over here. Uh, right up in here. When I picked it up, got a, got a little minor cut. Hey guys, uh, as I started putting this together, I found something that I really like. And that is, usually when you're putting bolts through something and having to mount a frame to it, uh, you need six hands. But the way they did this is the plastic is actually slightly threaded. So when you start to put the bolts on, you can thread them in. And then when they get up, tied up in there, they pull up and snap. And they're actually recessed. So you don't need uh, six hands to try to try to pull them in there and turn them. So anyway, I thought that was uh, a very good design decision on Gorilla Cart's part, and also I'm pretty happy with the uh, with the wheels. They all had between 10 and 12 pounds of air in them. So unless this thing came straight from the factory, uh, that tells me that the uh, tires are holding air pretty good. So that's a good thing too. Okay guys, I have it uh, pretty well put together. Got the wheels on it, got the frame on it. Uh, this thing went together quite easily. The only thing that I had a little bit of a problem with is these little struts here. When I first put this up here, the struts were bent end. And for a moment I thought I had uh, assembled it wrong, but I went back, looked at the instructions and uh, Looks like I did it right. 
Now one thing I thought that uh, it might need some lubrication on the axles, some axle grease or something, but the instructions don't say or show anything about doing that. But uh, being a little bit anal, I went ahead and took some of this uh, super slick. It's good stuff, no wax, no gum, no silicones. It doesn't attract dirt, which is probably why you're not supposed to put uh, axle grease on there. Probably just get gummed up. So I put a little squirt of this on the axles and uh, a little bit right here in the pivot points and right here where it turns. So made it nice and smooth. Anyway, next step is to turn it over and put the uh, dump release on it and uh, the handle and then we're all done. Okay guys, I think I got it all put together. Um, tools that I used were a 13 millimeter socket, a 13 millimeter wrench, and I had an adjustable wrench, but I didn't need it, and a uh, box cutter. Uh, you need something to open the packaging. But uh, it was super easy to put together. I got a couple of tips for you though. Number one, when you're putting things together, before you tighten your bolts down, make sure that they're flush in their little holes here. If you don't, and it's uh, sideways, and you start tightening it down, it's gonna it's gonna gouge that out, and you might not be able to to tighten it very well. Plus, it'll mess up your pretty little cart. The other thing is leave the nuts a little bit loose until you're ready to uh, to tighten everything down, or until you, until you get everything put on there, then tighten them down. That's what I meant to say. Um, that way, if anything doesn't line up quite right, you can adjust it. And when you do tighten them down, remember you're pulling through plastic for most of these. You don't want to pull them too darn tight. If there's one thing that I wish Gorilla Cart would do is put a, a brake on here. I'm not exactly sure how they would do it or how much that would affect the cost. This was $169 from Home Depot delivered, by the way. Uh, but one thing, if you're on a smooth surface like I am here, and you don't have the wheels chocked, it's gonna roll away on you. So it'd be really nice if it had uh, some kind of a braking mechanism. I might see if I can figure something out to, to, to rig up. Anyway, some of the features on this thing. Uh, some of the things I really like. Again, the uh, tires have, uh, or the, rather the wheels have bearings, so that's nice. I like this new style of cart. The old style cart used a regular cotter pen. This kind uses the uh, little clip-on types. So I like that a lot better. Other feature of this, it holds seven cubic feet. It's supposed to hold up to 1,200 pounds, but it only has a dumping rating of 500 pounds, which is more than enough for me. I would have, uh, would have gotten the smaller one, because as you can see, I don't really have a very large yard. But uh, I like the capacity of this, and I like the fact that the uh, seven cubic foot model has 13 inch wheels, so it's a little easier to roll on this uneven grass. Anyway, um, there are dozens of videos on these things online. Mine is not all inclusive or totally comprehensive, but I uh, thought, uh, thought I'd show you my new toy. Oh, one other feature of this. The, uh, the smaller one doesn't do this, and it's not something I even really need, but you can uh, slide the handle down and attach this to a ATV or to a riding mower and pull it around. Of course, I no longer have my John Deere, so that's out of the question, but anyway, if I ever get something else, eh, who knows? You never know. Life changes all the time. Anyway, guys, uh, this time for sure, this is it. <laughs> uh, take care, folks. Bye.